Hi there and welcome to the video. My name's Gareth. So what we're going to do in this one is I'm just going to tidy up this image a little bit. So it's got some track marks here in the sand, which we want to get rid of. We can use a lot of tools for this. I'm going to start by duplicating the background layer by pressing Control or Command J, dependent if you're a PC or a Mac user. And for this, I'm going to use the patch tool. So we'll click on the patch tool icon here. And we're just going to draw around one of the areas we'd like to remove. Try this and then we'll just click and drag to an area of texture that we like the look of. And the patch tool is then going to blend it in, do its best to try and blend it in. Right, nice. So we keep going. Now you can't use this on an empty layer. So that's why I'm doing this on a duplicate of the background layer. Okay, now I'll just do a couple more of these. You don't have to go crazy. In this example, I'm just, just trying to do a little bit of tidying up. There we go. Maybe some of these little bits, like this little bit of a stick there. Anything that stands out. There's a little something here, because the more you, within reason, the more you simplify the scene, the clearer the important objects will stick out. So now we've got that. This is obviously a, a big scene with the pyramids in the middle. Now, another thing that I notice is the horizon's not straight at all. So if you press Command or Control R to bring up the rulers, guides here, you can now drag a line down and you can just see how um, the horizon line is very much not straight. So there's a couple of ways you can deal with this. You can either just manually rotate the whole layer by going into Transform Selection, Command or Control T on the layer, or you've got the layer highlighted and you press V for the move tool or click on the move tool. You can then click on transform controls to activate them. And you can then click and manually level the image like that. But if you want another way to do that, it's a little bit quicker. Then you can go to the ruler tool, which is actually under the eyedropper icon here. And what you can do here is just draw a line, follow your actual horizon. So ignore the straight guide that I've got on the screen. So we see we've drawn this new line on the slanted horizon and then just click straighten layer. And that will straight away sort out that layer for you. Now, if I turn the layer beneath off, obviously it's had to rotate it. It's had to rotate it a bit in order to get the horizon straight. So now we can either crop this in to just get rid of these blank bits, or we can do magic replace. Now, just for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to crop this in, click on the crop tool. I just set the uh, motor free, which means I can crop it to wherever I want. And in this instance, I'm going to drag that in just so we're cropping out some of these bits. See how it's affected the top. And while we're here, we could have a look at a um, just a general recrop of the image. If I zoom out a bit, press Control or Command, plus and minus. Now, I think there's too much sky here. If this is for me personally, when you put the crop tool on and you get this grid, it's like a rule of thirds grid. And for good composition, generally speaking, you want things that either lie on the two horizontal lines or the two vertical lines or the points where they intersect. Obviously, that's a very general rule, but it's one that is followed by, you know, a lot of a lot of basic um, compositional um, photos, famous photographs over time, portraits, anything like that. A lot of them fit, do fit into this, this basic rule set of composition. So I'm just going to bring this down, recrop this so that the horizon line in the background is now actually level with the bottom line of the crop grid. So the rule of thirds crop grid. I'm not going for a particular aspect ratio or anything here. I'm just going to do what looks good. Press enter to accept that. And now we've got that. What I believe is um, a much more interesting and balanced crop. Now, one more thing I want to do to this before I finish is I want to um, enhance the sky a little bit. I don't want it to be too blue because it's sorry let me just delete that curves don't want it to be too blue just because i think 
I don't want it to look too cartoony because it's quite a dusky shot, obviously, with it being pyramids and sand. But I'm just going to go to hue saturation adjustment layer. I'm just going to go straight down to the select the blue as the range. And I'm just going to bump the saturation up just a tiny bit. Now we're doing that, so it's only going to select tones in the image that it thinks or it deems to be in blue. So we've just added a little bit of a bit of extra colour to that. And that's what I would do to that image.